among the busiest streets of Istanbul, a gallery houses the best photos of 2018. To encourage photojournalists and introduce them to wider audiences, they submit their applications online between November and January. The rules are simple. Your photos should be taken in the year you're competing. Photoshop or any other kind of filtering is not allowed. And you should provide necessary information about the photo. An international jury picks their favorite captions for the year. And the winners of all categories are shown in an exhibition. This year, the biggest prize photo of the year award went to Bosnian photojournalist Damir Sagol. His work is called Boy. Uh, this is a picture of uh, uh, Abdul Aziz, a, a young Rohingya refugee child who died a few hours before I had taken this picture in, uh, in a refugee camp in Bangladesh. Uh, this poor kid's family had escaped from Myanmar uh, as a part of the mass exodus of Rohingya people in the late uh, 2017. I followed the, the, uh, the preparation for the child's funeral and then at one moment inside the family tent which was packed with lots of relatives and, and, and neighbors the child was wrapped in a blanket and at one moment I think I, I believe it was an ounce or, or a mother or an ounce had, had a, unwrapped the, the, the blanket and put two, two green leaves over the child's face. Sagol says it wasn't his first time capturing a dead refugee child, but by immortalizing a tragic moment of a family, he hopes to raise awareness about the humanitarian crisis. You look at it and it's not very clear what had happened, so you actually have to uh, engage yourself with the picture. So that's what I actually want with this and uh, other pictures, that I provoke you, so then you read yourself further and not just sit and wait for me to deliver everything. So that if, that if this picture can work on that level, that it makes you engage more with the subject and then further with the story, then, uh, then I think my job is uh, done well. Contestants compete in 10 different categories, such as news, sports, nature, daily life and portraits. Their entries turn the exhibition into a colourful adventure. One of the reasons why Anadolu Agency started this competition is that photojournalism is one of the hardest fields of journalism. It's a very challenging job and it requires a lot of commitment, resilience and hard work. Not everyone can be a photojournalist. You have to have certain skills to tell a story in one shot and also aesthetically please everyone. And if you can combine these two, you end up with an iconic image. So we aim to support photojournalists through Istanbul Photo Awards. The exhibit will travel around to meet new people. The photos will be displayed in Moscow and New York later this year. So if you want to apply for the 2019 competition, prepare your lenses and wait for the perfect moment to shoot. Nursan Atutar, TRT World, Istanbul.